Hi everyone, welcome to the Suvarize Move. I'm getting quite excited here because as you can see we've got several large assemblies all ready to go, ready to be assembled onto the main robot. We've also got the main robot back here. We haven't seen the main robot for quite some time. We spent several months working on those assemblies so it's time to come back to the main robot and start putting everything together. I've got a little bit of a plan of how I'm going to tackle this. So I think attaching the stomach to the bottom of this torso is going to be um, a little tricky. So what I thought I would do is get him off the stand and get him back on the bench. And to make things a bit easier, I'm going to remove that arm. It will take a, quite a bit of weight off of him. And I'm even going to remove his head, again, just to remove some weight. It will make the torso a little easier to handle. So we'll just have this section here remaining that we can put on the bench and work on it. So I thought the best place to start would be to get this forearm out of the way. So if I just disconnect the elbow, I can uh, also disconnect the cables out of the elbow and get that forearm off. So it should just come away because the electrical cables are already off. Uh, got another one in the front, haven't we? The smaller one here that I really should have removed first. Seems to go forever. It's only a tiny little bolt. There it goes. Yeah, so that's off. So the next step will be to remove the bicep and shoulder. We'll remove them as one unit. Um, the main concern is to make sure the cables are free. The, the bicep cables are all uh, disconnected. This one here as well is disconnected, so that's fine. But there are two more um, servos in there. There's one here. We can disconnect that easily enough. Um, but there's another one kind of down inside. So that's probably these cables over here. So I'll, I'll get all those disconnected. May as well get this Arduino off here. Also we've got the opportunity because we don't want that on the back there whilst we're working on this on the bench. I believe I've got all the cables free now. So what I'll do is I'll turn this uh, piston and get the shoulder sort of up as high as we can get it. And I'm hoping we can just turn the piston and get this out by hand. So I've kind of got it as high up as I can get it. Just have a look down in there. You can see that that's sort of wound right back as far as I can go without it coming right out. I probably would take it all the way out, but I can't quite get it out. Um, what I'm going to do is remove this bolt. We should be able to wind the last little bit out. So that is the left arm removed. That's the left shoulder, left bicep, and that's the left forearm, wrist and hand. So he's looking pretty bare now. 
what I'll do next is get his head removed. Um, there's a couple of bolts. One here and one here and the head should come off. So there's the head. So hopefully you can see what I was trying to achieve. We've just literally got the bare torso there now. It's going to be a lot easier to work on that. Next step will be to get it off the wooden stand. So there is uh, fully taken apart. You can see we've got one arm there. That's the left arm. And then we've got the right arm here. We've got his head removed. That's what remains of the torso and the stomach assembly. So this torso now is going to be nice and easy to work on on the bench. So I think the next thing to do is start stripping this stomach down. So I think what we need to do is lift it upwards. We need to get the whole unit up out of the base. So if I get a flat blade screwdriver under here, we might be able to just prise that upwards. Um, I think from memory we probably have to manually rotate these pistons as well as we as we raise it up so that might be interesting i probably could leave the uh, ring on the front but i'm not sure so i'm just going to take it off get it out of the way um i don't want to sort of find halfway through that i need to remove it you know if i get it out of the way it's one less thing to worry about so i think i'll start by removing this disc so that just comes off like that um, I probably can unplug that from the back. I think that's on a nice little plug here. We can just get that out. I uh, should be able to, yeah, just get that disc out of the way. One less thing to worry about. I think I will remove this section as well. Again, I'm not sure if I need to, but. I just want to get it out of the way. So the back is coming off fairly easily. I can just get a screwdriver under here, give it a twist and that will um, raise those sort of square joints out of there. Um, but the front is proving a lot more tricky because I can't really get my screwdriver under it. It's so tight down there. Um, I can't get it under. I kind of need to prise it up somehow. Um, you do have to rotate these pistons at the same time. You've got the two pistons, they need to turn in opposite directions so that it raises up um, and comes out of these joints. So I'll just keep persevering with that. You can actually just get in there with a the screwdriver under here to prise that up. It is actually coming out. I didn't realize that you can't sort of notice at the front because there's no, no flat edge protruding out, but it is actually coming out. Um, you can kind of see it. You probably, I probably can't get the camera down there. Um, we should be able to just prise that up like that. So I've got it all apart. It's off the base now. Um, now I've got it out. I can actually see what's happened. I did hear a bit of a crack, and I wasn't really sure what had broken. But um, it's these four sort of connectors here. I think. This part, um, no, it would have been th this part here would have had sort of four raised um, square pieces, and they would have inserted into this part here, four little square holes here. Um, it's a shame it's broke, but I don't think it's the end of the world because we can just glue that back on there, and there are two screws to secure it in anyway. So I really don't think that's a problem. Um, I, I'm not a super fan of those um, little sort of square lugs there. I guess they're to stop it from rotating, but I'd, I'd much rather see screws used anyway. Um, there were two more of those in here. Um, this one and this one that I think they joined on to this side here. Um, and they did break when I was uh, doing the original assembly, um, but there was enough left on them sticking out that they still worked okay anyway. 
Um, so yeah, it's a shame they're broken, but it's not really the end of the world. We're not going to notice that when we've got it all put back together. So we can actually see now how this is going to attach to the torso. So this part here is the front of the stomach assembly and that needs to slot in there like that, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm sure I'm going to have to do a bit of work on those dovetail joints. So I think that'll be the first thing I do um, as the reassembly starts. I'll just remove this uh, front plate and then we can start on getting this attached. Again, a flat blade screwdriver down here, just behind the front plate. You can just twist it and it'll prise the uh, front plate off. I'm going to be a little bit careful because it does seem to be a little tight on the center ones. The bottom ones seem to be coming off okay and the top ones seem okay. It's just a bit tight in the center. So that's removed, which means we've just got literally the front plate. So we can now get that completely flat on the bench and get this bottom section joined in. So that's joined, all these joints here. They were quite tricky, I had to do quite a bit of filing on them and I did tap them home with a hammer. Um, but they're all in there, I'm quite pleased with that, they're nice and tight. I think in hindsight, if I was building the robot from scratch, I would uh, start with the torso and I would build this whole assembly first, um, all in one go. The way I did it was start at the, the top and I, as you can see, it's two different colors. I went to this point um, and then a bit later on, I added another row and then just now we've added this last row. I think if I was gonna do this from scratch, I would I'd build this whole assembly first all in one go i'd actually build up the whole torso first i think that's the area i would start with the robot you start with the main torso then you can sort of build outwards with the limbs and the head anyway that's that done so we've got a similar job to do on the back so that's the back section joined in we've got two job tail joints here two more here and then two more over on this side now I don't want you to think that that's easy and that that just slipped in there I had to do a lot of filing and then I had to um, carefully hammer the pieces into place um, I kind of just made sure I've got good support underneath them so everything's held nice and flat before I just give it a, a nice tap with a hammer um, I normally lay a, a piece of wood across it so that the pressure is going down nice and even um, I've seen other people using vice grips, but it's these are just in awkward positions to get to. But that's in there now. Uh, so that's basically the main objective to get the um, dovetail joints joined on. So it is now just a case of reassembling everything. And we should be good. So to start the reassembly, I've put these four blocks in here. This, the lower two are from the uh, stomach assembly, one here and one here, and then the upper two are for the shoulders. Um, they kind of fell out as I took things apart, so I've just placed them back in. I've also placed these back in. I took them out um, whilst I was uh, assembling that bottom section. These ones do actually slip in quite easily. So I think we can put the... Uh, chest plate back on the front I think it's okay to do that okay that went on surprisingly easy there are a lot of um, joints that you need to line up there's two down here there's four here um, two more here two across that side I think we've got two four six eight ten up the front here and then of course there's the four blocks two we can see here one there and one there. The other two we can't actually see. They're inside here and here, but obviously everything has to line up. It did, it did actually go on surprisingly easy. So quite pleased with that. I, like I said, I think it's okay to fit that chest plate. I do get a little bit confused sometimes of what order we should put things together in. But So that's uh, looking good now. We've got the torso reassembled.
Right, so one thing that I do want to consider, um, and I want to do this before we continue because I'm looking at this and thinking you can't actually get the chest plate off again once you put the bolts through the shoulder, once the shoulders are attached, um, the chest plate is not really removable anymore. I don't think anything else secures it in. Um, but of course, once we fit the stomach pieces through here as well and bolt those together as well, this, this chest plate isn't really removable anymore. So we want to make sure that we've done everything we need to do. This is our last chance really to be able to remove that. And I'm just looking down here, we've got the tensiometer to fit in here. Um, and I'd like to be able to get a screwdriver down there to secure that in. And I think it would be nice um, if the potentiometer was on a plug so that if we ever needed to remove the stomach for any reason we can uh, just unplug the potentiometer and we wouldn't be forced to unscrew it like I was this time. So I'm, I'm just going to whip the um, chest plate back off um, and I'm going to get the potentiometer fitted back in with a lead on it. We can add a plug to it later as long as there's a, a long enough lead on it. So actually in the end I managed to get that in there. I realised that you can actually get to this screw without removing the front plate. Um, and I've decided just to fit one. Let me have a look down in here. Um, I, I was thinking about putting two in. There's another hole on this side as well. But I figured that if we just go with the one screw, if we do need to get it out, we can get it out through this hole here without having to remove the front plate although I don't know how much of an advantage that will be I guess we probably could find some kind of tool to get that out if we really had to um, just gives me the option of getting it out without removing the front plate if I leave this screw off so one screw seems more than adequate to hold it so I think we'll end the video here um, it's been a bit of a short one this time, but I was really only intending to cover the tear down, um, and we've actually already started the rebuild. So, if you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. When we come back next time, I'll be rebuilding this stomach assembly, and we'll get the torso fitted onto it, and we'll just test out the these um, two pistons here are working nicely with the torso attached. We'll be putting the uh, grease and ball bearings in so it'll be a proper fit so we can leave it assembled. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.